Hello and welcome to the NIHR Wellcome Trust King's Clinical Research Facility. My name is Peter Goadsby and I have the privilege of being the director. This facility is the result of a 20 million pound collaboration between the NIHR, the Wellcome Trust, our NHS partners, the South London and the Maudsley Trust and the King's College Hospital, and our academic partner, King's College London. As you make this tour, you will see an excellent environment that's safe in which to conduct experimental medicine and early phase clinical trials. We have our experimental medicine facility, our cell therapy unit. We also have the supporting infrastructure for all the equipment that we have. The needs of our mental health investigators were crucial to the construction of this facility. All of this was considered at the start and all of it provides an environment in which mental health questions can be asked in a way that really can't be asked in other facilities easily. People with schizophrenia and mood disorders very often have cognitive impairments secondary to the illness and computer-based learning programs, cognitive remediation, is a way of addressing these and these are being done uh, in the CRF. We're doing studies of novel pharmacotherapies. We have a study of a first-in-man compound uh, which seems to be very effective at treating anxiety disorders. Uh, and this is particularly interesting because we were approached by a, a biopharmaceutical company from abroad and the reason they approached us is because we were the only place worldwide that was able to both do the clinical trial in patients but also we had the sophisticated technology to measure the effects of this novel compound in the brain. This type of very early experimental study uh, really is what the CRF is all about. Our facilities range from interview rooms where the audio and the video can be framed into another room for both analysis and for training. We have typical facilities, beds and chair facilities for uh, infusions and monitoring of blood pressure and heart rate, as well as facilities for very specialised things, imaging and our intensive care beds in which we can do truly complex studies in patients who are unwell. The virtual reality suite offers an opportunity for mental health investigators examining problems like schizophrenia or anxiety disorders to recreate the problem. Someone who is anxious about taking a trip can be taken on a bus ride around London, experience their symptoms, be taught to control them. New therapies for these problems can be investigated at the same time in a way that's safe and controlled and productive. I'm part of a team, I lead a team of experimental researchers um, and we therefore investigate the mechanisms of disease and our particular interest is in diabetes and more latterly obesity. And in order to do that we need to perform sometimes very complicated studies uh, where we control the metabolism. For that you need effectively a clinical unit um, and the CRF has been superb because it combines a clinical facility with a sort of a hotel facility that is pleasant for people to come to. We have been doing some work around how the brain controls the body's blood glucose using the MRI scanners in the CRF and the research that we've done has in fact allowed us to develop a completely novel treatment for people having real problems with hypoglycemia which we've tested in a pilot study and it seems to be working. Um, but it has been very exciting because it's changed the way we think about the treatments we offer those people. This is the cell therapy unit. It houses six different cell type processing at one time and can produce up to 1,000 therapies per patients per year. That makes this unit the biggest in the academia and the industry in whole of Europe. So this unit was the first to produce liver cells encased in alginate to treat acute liver failure in babies, avoiding the need for liver transplantation. This unit has also produced cells to treat difficult diabetes with islet cells. This unit has also produced viral vectors to treat the world first cancer treatment uh, with cell therapy. And the successes that we have achieved are mainly because of our co-location. The unit is in the hospital, so it is next to the patients. So the bench and bedsides are next to each other here. From its inception, we have had patient involvement at the core of what we do. Design of studies, involvement in execution of studies. Facilities like this are absolutely essential. 
to be able to make real discoveries for the benefit of patients.